Well, Buffalo, Texas, how are you doing tonight? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's like that, huh? Kind of feels like a gas leak there for a moment. <laughs> Let's try that again. Buffalo, Texas, how are we on a Saturday night? Oh, now they're warming up a All little right. bit. All right. Let's go ahead. How many of you want some free stuff? How's that? Can we go ahead and give you that? We'll get you in the gate. We're going to give you some free stuff as well. Folks are going to be walking around, throwing out some great T-shirts, some great goodie bags. Thanks for coming out to the Cody Neesmith. But you're going to have to do your part. We're going to give you something, but you're going to have to scream and shout. You're going to have to get just a little bit wild. Oh, come on. They're only giving it to the rowdiest fans that are here. Come on, get up on your feet. Get a little rowdy, Louisiana. I know you're out there. You got to go ahead and stomp your feet. Put your hands together. Buffalo, Texas, let's get loud. Who's going to be the big winner? Oh, look at that. We about lost a man. Man down. Only way you get a T-shirt is for getting up and dancing a little bit. Throw your hands around. We are live on X of Factor Roping 2 on the World Wide Web. Folks, we got us a great crowd tonight, and if your friends can't make it, be sure to tell them to go to X Factor. They can watch the Cody Neesmith Memorial Team Rope and brought to you by Kobe Lovell and Hill Rodeo Cattle. Also, be sure to stop by and see Miss Kay, Kay Neesmith and the family. Folks, they've got all the goodies right here for all your Neesmith shirts and your ball caps. That's going to go to a fantastic cause that we'll introduce to you here just a little bit later. Well, I tell you what, as we get closer down to start time, we've got a lot of great vendors that have been set up here. I hope you've been by to do a little shopping, some great food vendors. You are not going to want to get up from your seat toe during the middle of this show. We've got our ranch rodeo action. We've already watched a little taste of the mutton busting a little earlier on. And then we've got that one-header action, some of the best team ropers in the world. We're going to get to watch some rodeo runs. Folks, you have picked the right night to come on out to do some cowboy things right here. And we want to say thank you to some of our great sponsors like Resist All, the best all around. We live it every day. We say thank you to Resist All and Durango Boots, Outlaw Spirits, giving the buckles, folks. Lots of great things. You be sure to stop by and see Kerry Kelly, Vince and Spurs with Gary out there. He can tell you more about it. But TC... What an excellent opportunity to be here with a bunch of talented individuals. From the rodeo world to the ranching world, we're going to get to see it all. Well, it is truly amazing what we're going to watch, and we talk about amazing talent. But as you said, that can't happen without all the great sponsors that collide together here this weekend. In order, we've got big money on the line that we're going to be watching here tonight. Also, I think like $10,000 added in the Ranch Rodeo event. We also, we're going to have our one-header competition here. And then you can't forget to tomorrow, the Cody Johnson seven-header. Let's talk about the big money there. Hey, $50,000 added in that. And we're talking about those guys that you have read in the books, you've watched on TV, the ones that make a living with a rope and a horse day in and day out. We're talking about over 20-plus world titles going to be represented here tomorrow afternoon at the Leon County Expo Center. Boy, that is going to be an action-packed rope. But I tell you what, the thing that I've heard about for the last two years is the Ranch Rodeo competition that we're going to be watching here. It is truly one that's going to have you on the edge of your seat. It's unlike any other Ranch Rodeo you've ever watched anywhere in the world. You're going to get to see a lot of your heroes here in the rodeo world in just a different light. You see them in the performance pen all the time, just Roping horns and roping feet. Well, here tonight, it's like they're out in the pasture and they're all alone or they got them a buddy. It's however they want to do it. They got to get creative. And, TC, this is something fun to watch. The first year, Wesley Thorpe, everybody's like, no way. He didn't just do that all by himself. Well, uh, you know, he may have a gold buckle for being uh, a, a world champion healer, but 
you know, these guys are world champions at home in the ranch inside. They don't just make their living on that side. Most of them have cattle at home, and, you know, every once in a while you got to doctor them too. And you're going to get to see them in action here tonight, and we do say thank you to our great friends at Stanley Feed and Seed, Buffalo EDC, Centerville EDC, Buffalo Livestock Marketing Incorporated, and Rafter 5454 Construction. We appreciate their support here of the Ranch Rodeo and that invitational one-header that we are telling you about. Folks, we're just one song away. Are you ready to rodeo? You better get set to go. Well, hello and good evening to you. Welcome out on a Saturday night, the Cody Neesmith Memorial Team are Open Ranch Rodeo. My name's T.C. Long from Athens, Texas. Farron Lucero is joining me, and I tell you what, we talked about a little taste of what we're going to be watching here, but it is for a great cause to go along with that. Folks, we are gathered here for the Cody Neesmith Memorial. This family right here, they come to us a few years ago, and Cody Neesmith, his last wishes were, he said, give it away. He wanted to build something big, bring all the money, bring all the people, bring all the families together, help out families in need. And uh, with that here, in the, just in the last year alone, this isn't in totality or anything, but just in the last year, from then till now, they've been able to help over 16 families with costs, with trips, with help. And ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause? The hearts are full. This is a big opportunity. We're here for, for one reason, and that's to help people out. Well, you know, when they put a foundation together, it was to help and bring back people and unite them together. In the past year, 16 families have been, uh, in, well, have been helped through this program, but it doesn't just happen overnight. You talk about through fundraisers of the Ropen, but also tomorrow night we'll be auctioning off items just like we did last year. That is what goes back into this foundation. You joining us here today is truly helping out individuals in the last year it's 16 but the goal is to grow that onto a bigger bigger level but there are people that are behind the scenes that help put this together that work together as we talk about hill rodeo cattle colby lovell joining in with the neesmith family but they've now built a foundation to grow this on a bigger level and i think we ought to meet some of those folks that are in our vip area yeah, so folks we do want to say thank you and recognize those in the neesmith foundation how about sonia rochelle thank you sonia max bonnet we appreciate you donna milam thank you for all that you do michelle anthony Cassidy Lovell, thank you. 
Franco Aseguera, we appreciate your leadership as well. And not here tonight, but that's Randy Melder and folks, of course, Cody's family, Tony, Kay, Caitlin, Naismith. How about a round of applause? Thank you to each and every one of you. We are all so grateful and motivated by what you do. Well, is that not an amazing thing to be able to gather together that amazing group of people all for one reason? And I want to say one more time, folks, I think that there is something that's truly amazing is throughout the weekend, you watch sponsors that unite together to put together this event that we're going to be watching. Lots of money on the line tonight, just $10,000 in the Ranch Rodeo event. Tomorrow, $50,000 in that. A huge payout that we watch, but that doesn't happen without... A our great sponsors that stand behind this event. So I say that we need to do this. How about a round of applause to each and every one of these great generous sponsors that step up to the plate. They go the extra mile in order for us to be able to put this great event on and what you're going to watch here tonight in the next few days. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let's get our evening started off with an invocation. If you're able and you're willing, please rise to your feet. Gentlemen, if you have your hats on, if you would, please remove cover. Bow your heads and pray with me. Father God, we just come to you tonight just thankful and mindful of all the many blessings that we've already received. Father God, thank you for the Neesmith family. Thank you for their heart. Thank you for, for them just being so open, wanting to help. Thank you for those that have gotten behind them, have gotten beside them. Father God, to see this foundation through. Father, we just pray a hedge of protection over everybody here in attendance tonight. For those that are competing, may they compete safe and free from harm and to the best of their abilities. And Father, if there's anybody out there that needs healing tonight, whether that is physical, spiritual, emotional, financial, we just pray your healing hand on them right now, Father. Father, we also pray for the Friar family. It's brought to my attention by a roper tonight about a family that have gone through something very tragic. We just pray that you wrap your loving arms around them. And for all those many prayers that are left unsaid, Father, you know, you know our hearts. And may your will be done. And help us to always remember that your grace will always be enough. We pray for the men and women that are fighting near and far. Father, we pray for those that have lost that we honor here this week over Memorial Weekend. May we never forget the fallen, and may we always celebrate them. We pray for our first responders in their day-to-day -day jobs. Be with them and guide them. And, Father, may we give you glory in all that we do and just enjoy this night with one another. And it is in your most powerful name we pray. Amen. Amen. Isn't it awesome that we live in a country that we can still pray together? You see, folks, so many times we forget what our America truly is. Is This weekend is Memorial Day, and we celebrate America. But, folks, I believe we should celebrate America every day, not just Fourth of July, not just Memorial Day, not just Veterans Day, but we should celebrate America every day. As we bring an American flag into the arena that is a true symbol of freedom, every day we like, wake up in a country that we should be proud of. You see, folks, I've done a lot of studying. I've done a lot of reading on that flag. And nowhere does it say you have to receive that flag quietly. If you're proud to be an American here on a Saturday night at Memorial Day weekend, how about a round of applause for the sacrifices that have been given to America so that we can live in a nation of the land of the free and the home of the brave. And folks, tonight it is a special honor. A young lady from Mount Alba, Texas. I invite you to lift your hearts and voices with Amber Taylor and our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light, what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleam. 
evening whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight all the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the I tell you what, if that doesn't light your fire, your wood's wet. How about old Ty Arnold as a flag carrier? Look out. We'll see him in Las Vegas. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, Amber. It's time to kick the tires and light the fires. And, hey, let's do it. Oh, you know what? Hey, you know, in the past, they've had steer riding. We're upgrading. How many of y'all want a little bull riding here? They're going to be a bust of loose bull riding. We've got two matchups that we're going to watch, and they're all going to go together. The guys and girls that have been working as the shoot crew have put them together a team. The team for the laborers. That is Hayden Willis and Josh Matches. Then on the sponsor side, it is John Cody Sanchez for Raptor S and Chance Towner for Panola Pipe. Are you ready? Let's make some noise. Whoever rides the furthest is going to be the winner. Oh, boy. Okay. I don't know who rode the furthest. We need some help down there. Holy goodness. Now. We're going to get the official word of who's going to be the winner. Now, let's talk about what they win. $500 and an ice hole cooler to go along with it. You may need some extra beer to go along with that after that. They're going to need something to ease the pain. We say thank you to our friends at Ice Hole Coolers. Folks, they are our Texas-owned company right here in Buffalo, Texas. When your ice is on the line, you want to make it Ice Hole Coolers. Be sure to check them out at IceHoleCoolers.com. So our judges are coming in. They're going to radio up here and let us know who's the champions. Was was it going to be our guys that are on the crew? Is it our sponsors? Who He's taking home $500 in the ice hole cooler. Well, so we need to know, is it a sponsor or is it a shoot crew that done the one winning down there on the far end? We need somebody to rel- relay the message down to this end of who is going to be the winner. Oh, wait, oh, we got hats thrown. It's kind of looking like the shoot crew is celebrating here tonight. Hey, I think the shoot crew might have done the winning on the side of the game. Was that Hayden? Was that Hayden that done it there? Yes, it is. Hayden. Oh, Josh Matches, they said, is going to be the winner on our labor side of $500 and an ice hole cooler. Folks, what a way to start it off. How about a round of applause to (laughs) all of our steer riders? Boy, they are celebrating. Hey, let me tell you what. Those guys there, they have worked their tails off all week. Those guys are saying right now, you should see the fun we have with 20 bucks. Let me show what we can do with 500 Oh, man, you know what? Tonight, our matchups that we're going to watch, this is how it works. On our Ranch Rodeo event, we have 14 teams that are going to be, 15 teams that are going to compete right here on the dirt. We will do a three sections of five. The top two fastest times out of every section of five will advance back here to the championship round. So, so. 
Now, as we set it up, let's talk about the rules of the competition. Okay, we're going to turn out three animals. We're going to have a heifer and two steers. Now, Ranch Rodeo contestants, listen to this. The heifer has to be pinned. You tie the steers. That's got to be a three-bone cross, and everything's got to be tied, and everything's got to be pinned. You got the one heifer, the two steers, and then you got to get out of the arena as fast as you can, but you can't leave any trash. No cowboy hats, no reins, no spur straps, nothing. Nothing can be left in the arena except the two steers on their side and the heifer in the pen. When the gate closes is when the time stops. If a tail of a rope or a rein or a bell boot, or anything along those lines is in the arena, it is a no time. It is a three-limit time limit. I'm going to ask you, Buffalo, Texas, are you ready for a little ranch rodeo action? $10,000 added. Let's talk about the first team. It is Team Thunderstruck. Cody Hogan, Cash Palmore. How about Lightning Aguilera and Jake Orman, both national finalists that we're going to be watching here in the Ranch Rodeo. This is going to be interesting. We've got two right here that have made it to the Thomas and Mac. Jake Orman, Lightning Aguilera, Cody Hogan. He's Louisiana. Cash Palmore, Decap, Texas. Oh, that's a kind of a resist all team, isn't it? Huh? Hey. Come on, resist all. This is kind of your team right here. The team Flight Thunderstruck. Drop. Now, the gates open. We're underway. Here we go. Now, they got to put the heifer in the pen and tie the two down. Somebody asked how they know which one's a heifer. Well, I'm going to leave that up to you to figure that one out, okay? Now, let's gather them up, boys. You're going to have to open the gate to put them in there. Find the heifer. That may be the first side of the game. Now, they can do it in any order. Isn't that correct? Absolutely. They can work together to get it tied, get it pinned. Somebody can go be tying. We got three minutes now, remember, in each section, we're going to take the fastest two ranch rodeo teams. Lightning says, I'll get this one. Looks like we got it stopped. Anything goes in order for them to pin it in there, but now they got to get that rope off because, remember, nothing can be left in the arena. No bell boots, no hat, no bubble gum, nothing along that line. Look at this. They got a leg shot here. They got to knock him down and get it tied with a three-bone uh, cross. Oh, Look at this. Jake getting down to it right here. Jake Orman on the ground. He's got a leg. Woo. Folks, that header right there is grabbing feet. Okay, Jake, we know you can. Oh, man. Hey, he just took a shot in the ribs. Hey, he ain't. That one come from Mexico, and he ain't gentle. <laughs> no. Oh, boy. He's like, come on. Hey, look at this. There it is. There Bull it is. Him. We're going to the time to be a champion. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Hey, is that Cody Hogan? Watch this. He's tough. He's tough if it's a Waffle House steak. <laughs> this is falling apart like a three-piece tuxedo right now. <laughs> oh, right. look at this. Lightning's coming. Look at this. He was a linebacker. Lightning says you just hit him like this. Cash oh. Palmore with the tie. Hey, boys, don't need new dental records after this is over. Okay. Now, remember, Clear it out. all the ropes have got to be picked up, all the bell boots, everything. Now, time will stop when they're out of the arena and the gates close. Remember, the tail of the ropes, nothing can be left in the arena when the gates close. 30 seconds. Okay, now we're going to do the inspection of the arena. Nobody dropped their bubble gum. Nobody dropped their glasses. Everything's checking out. Let's see where we're at on the tie. How about 155.68 for our first team? 155.68. Here comes the shoot crew to do the untying now. Whoo, boy. Take I, I didn't see Bobby Joe slide in there yeah, like that. No, I was like, there's Bobby Joe. <laughs> okay. Our next team will be Montgomery Farms, Tyler McGuffey, Caden Pro, Philly, Mason Pitts, and Landon Smith is going to be our next team that we'll watch as they ease this one out of the arena. 
Hey, this is fun. Hey, is this not something else? This is something so cool. Folks, when they're not rodeoing, they're probably helping their buddies go in and gather in a pasture, kind of bring them back in. And we get to see them in a different light tonight as we get ready to go for Montgomery Farms, McGuffey, Profili, Pitts, and Smith getting ready to go right here. They got to be at a time of 155.68. Buffalo, Texas, you can help them out. You go ahead and scream and shout. You can make a little noise. We all know need a little extra motivation they're trying to get to the go round the shootout round with ten thousand dollars added this is for fun but it's not for fun for the money and the title of cowboy champion ranch cowboy thank you to our friends at stanley feed and seed buffalo edc centerville edc and rafter 54 construction we appreciate your help Oh, uh, remember, they got to let themselves in the arena once they are all in there. All three animals is when the flag will drop. When the flag drops, that's the time of the start. They got them a small train wreck down there on the far end, it kind of looks like. Now. Oh, boys, we got two. <laughs> yeah. I ain't very good at math, but I think we need one more. We need one more. I don't know if it's a heifer or a steer, but we need one more. Yeah. We're going to get real particular here real quick. Everything's wide open, folks. Today, a big day here in Buffalo, Texas. Paving out a lot of much. We've had, we had young one man, 15 years old, already went $10,000 in the last two days. Hey, 15. Let's, let's talk about last night in the 9.5 business, man. It paid back on three head, and they win uh, 6,500. Wow. On a four steer average, 37 teams, 6,500. Folks, we are doing some big things here at the Cody Neesmith Memorial. You be sure to talk to the Neesmith family. Be sure to get your T-shirts, get your, your ball caps. That money's going to a fantastic cause. This, this event, young and young, just about three, four years in the making, and it's really gelled here, and it's because of all of your help and then the big hearts and support of our sponsors and those that head our foundation. Well, did the shoot crew get the... Uh get to the cooler before they got to the steer or heifer? <laughs> yeah. Okay, they're working on it hard. I can promise you that. Thanks to the folks that resist all the best all around. How about old Bill Fick? Bill Fick Ford, number one, a hey, super duty dealer in the world. And he's here roping with us. This you guy bet. knows it. He loves team roping, loves the rodeo way of life, helps out a lot of these cowboys and these cowgirls. And like you said, number one customer service in the nation. Heavy duty trucks. They will. They'll meet you in Kansas if they have to. Bill oh. Fick Ford. Oh, we're underway now. Let's find out what we're gonna do here. Oh, come on! I need to hear you make a little noise. This is not like a library. Nobody's gonna get on to you for making too much noise or having too much fun. Farron, this is an event where everybody gets to participate. Hey, we got to have that crowd power right now because I tell you what, folks, we got to be professional. You don't. We'll join you later tonight at the rodeo dance. We got some cattle on some string right here. Let's see. They said, all right, let's put this heifer away. We're going to go with what the last team did. It seemed to work for them. And I seen it once before, so it's got to be like this. Okay. Now. They've got to work to get that one in the pen. They're going to go to work on making the tie. We burned about a minute already away, so they're going to have to do some good now. Oh. Now, hey, you just got to make the tie, buddy. Don't sit there and look at him. Oh, they're on the chase in the big field. We got one down here. Mason Pitts was eyeballing him, making sure everything was good. These guys have got it. We just got to get some rope on this one. Now, you're going to see, take a look at that. He tried to heal him. And, folks, that actually, when that sticks, you rope two feet, that actually works pretty good. Mason says, I'll try it. Well, these boys may have to mount back up and go help and do some more roping. 
Like, all right, boys, uh, we got ours. Hey, there you go. He said, we got him right here. Why don't y'all tie this one down for us, too? There's Mason. He's down on the front end. Pro Fleet, McGuffey getting everything gathered. Oh, man. You see him throwing things over the fences? Yeah. They're getting rid of all of it. Here we go. Now it's a foot race. Oh, they're just sending them out the door. We got to latch it. Got to latch it. Bam. And the latch happens. So we look out in the arena. We're doing an inspection. And 136.01. We have got a new leader here tonight. Yeah. Man, that was good. Remember the top two advance out of every heat, and we're doing a heat sub five. So all you got to do is be the two fastest time to advance the short round. Now, some of these guys that signed up might not have realized they got to do this twice on a team, maybe. I know. And then some of these guys have entered on several teams to try to get there. Somebody Ooh. might need to call for some oxygen. We're going to need a little help. I know we feel young. I know some of you are young. But, oh, resiliency and want to can run out. Let's go now to Bonnet Farms. It's going to be Dustin Bonnet, Tyler McGuffey we just seen on that last one, Robert Fay, and, hey, how about Nelson Wyatt? He's going to join them. It's Nelson Wyatt. We'll get the first to see him. McGuffey was on the last team. He's like, guys, so hunt Alabama for Nelson Wyatt. We got a whole mix of them right here. McGuffey, Fay, Wyatt, Bonnet. Here we go. Let's get it, boys. Oh. All right. Remember oh, the heifer? Oh, look at oh, this. Look. Wow. Look at this. Are they talking about is that a heifer or not? No. Oh. <laughs> okay. So put all three of them, and they're going to sort off the steers maybe. Let's see. It might um, be easier to catch them if they're in the pen. Hey, that's a thought. Yeah, nobody said hey, that. Hey, you, you can't miss them when you put the rope on in the box right there. Uh, uh, yeah, it's like fishing in a bucket. Hey, look at this. They've already got a quick catch going on things. Oh, wow. Woo. He said, I'll ride to exactly where I got to get off. Okay. All right, so they didn't go for our option. Look, we're trying to get close to the gate. How smart is that? Yeah. Look at that. There's some that thought far. into it. Look at this. Now somebody's going to have to get off and do some tying now. Now there we got to go to work. Wow. There's three bone cross tie. Oh, boy. Y'all may want to tune in on X Factor while you're sitting in the seat because they got us a shot of both sides of the camera. Oh, great work by X Factor. Now wow. we got to gather it all up. Wow. Oh, folks. they got them a good run going here. Now they got to get everything outside when the gate latches. Oh, oh boy. Oh, Grace said, No, I don't want to play no more. Oh, he said, I'm going to back him out of here, okay? You There's better one hurry. way to skin a cat. $10,000, tell him. <laughs> 10000 Be a horse whisperer. 10000 Oh, they got to get it all set. So good. Oh, are we good on the cleanness of the arena? Listen to this. One twenty fifty two. We have got new leaders. How about them, boys? Oh, boy. I tell you what, that shoe crew, they're just as fun to watch untie as it was to tie. Well, these guys doing a great job right now. So, Bonnet Farms is going to take that early lead for this heat. We're going to get ready for our next one, TC. Okay, let's do that. It's going to be uh, the 7 FR Ranch right now. We got leaderboard. It is the Bonnet Farms in the lead, Montgomery Farms, and then Thunderstruck Ranch is the top three. Remember, top two only advance out of it. So, right now, Bonnet Farms and Montgomery Farms are in there. 7FR Ranch. That's Lucas Falconer, Peyton Emmett, 
Jake Starnes and Cameron Smith is the team that we're going to be watching here. Now, TC, here's another thing, folks. You see all these guys, we say they're a team. Well, their horse is a part of that team. And we're going to be giving away a Kerry Kelly bit to the top horse and an ice hole cooler to the top hand. We say thank you to a Kerry Kelly Bits and Spurs. Owned right here in Texas, made in Texas, artistry, functionality. You want to make it carry Cali, stop by and buy your own. And as well as Ice Hole Cooler, another Texas-owned business, bringing you that for the top hand. Top horse, a carry Cali bit. We just up the ante here in this ranch. Oh, yes, we did. Well, yes, we did. 7FR Ranch. I said smells. That's Cameron Sues that's on that team there. Jake Starnes. Peyton Emmett and Lucas Falconer. Time has started, boys. It's off to the races here. They're headed to the gate. Did they already make the cut? Oh, boy. Hey, they got a little cutting horse action. Said, you know what? It's easier to rope them and take them to the pen. Folks, I get this one set, and we say thank you to Friends at Stanley Feed and Seed, Buffalo EDC, Centerville EDC, Buffalo Livestock Marketing Incorporated, and Rafter 5454 Construction. Your sponsors here, the Ranch Rodeo and Invitational One Header. Well, they work on putting the heifer and lock the gate and get the rope off. They're off to the races. They got a down horn one. Hey, look at this. They said, we're not going for the horns. We're going for the feet. Look at here. Oh, hang in the buggy. Oh, Stay in the buggy. don't fall off. We he, put a new crease in the saddle. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, watch that horse. Keep the rope tight for him. Now, on the other side of the game, they're gathering up here. Oh, uh -oh. this would be interesting. And this is going to be good. We're going to throw a little Brandon loop right there. And oh. Hey, now, now I know how come all of the team ropers have been practicing for this event. When they miss on the steers, they ride out the back. They all try to heal them going out. They've all been practicing for the ranch rodeo. Hey, it's $10,000 added. We're yeah. talking about real money, cold hard cash. We can go spend. We've got one of these steers down. We oh. got the heifer pan. We got one more to go. And the clock is ticking. Hey, look at there. But you know the bad news about where they just roped that one? Yeah. It's a long ways back to the gate to oh, gather everything up. The house is a long ways away. Would that be the outhouse or the real house? <laughs> the outhouse. <laughs> and they're going to be running like they got a bellyache. You guys better hurry. <laughs> oh, boy. Here they go rolling up the resist dolls. They're headed out the gate. Whoa, boy. Oh, boy. Uh-oh. Got to be latched. It's got to be latched. There we go. And 151-31. 151-31. That's going to put them in third right now. 151-31. Going to put them into the number three position. Okay, so we got one more in this heat. Then we're going to have some open team roping. We're going to go to H.O. Cattle. It is Lightning Aguilera, Corey Hendrick, Kent Haley. Yeah, and Jake Orman. We Ooh. got the performance Cowboys. We got the ranching Cowboys. We're all looking. The whole VIP just turned their head. We said Kent Haley, and they went, what? Yeah. Let me show you a cowboy. Nah. You think anybody's giving some instructions to him right now? Let me show you a cowboy. <laughs> Corey Hendrick didn't even want to do it, and he's giving instructions. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, off to the races we go. Here we go. H.O. Cattle. Lightning Aguilera, Corey Hendrick, Ken Haley, and Jake Orman. Ah, oh, here we go. Whoa! Uh-oh, somebody has already fallen off. Don't worry. They said 
Don't worry, he'll be all right. We got it here. Let's go, boys. Oh, no. I promise nobody will tell, Jake. Nobody will tell. Folks, that's the beautiful thing about doing some ranching stuff right here. You never know what's going to happen. Lightning's got this one. Okay. Jake's going to say, all right, I'm going to work on this right back here. Lightning, get the heifer pen. The boys, all right. Jake Gorman's got some help coming now. Folks, nobody said you have to wait till they're pinned. It's anybody's game. It don't matter the order. It's just got to look right when it's all done. We don't care what it, how you get there. Oh, hey. He said get off and Oh, is that Kent? One. Yes. Come on, Buffalo. Help us out. Oh. We got Kent Haley down on one. Lightning Aguilera on the other side. Oh, he about caught it right there on the chin. Woo. He says, I'll be the anchor. Get him. Yeah. Lightning, go hit him. Woo. Hey, they're going to start calling him the bulldog. Did you just see that? Jeez. Now, go. they're going to start gathering things up. Get it gathered, boys. Get your picnic lunches and all. Guys, you're doing something. Let's go. Oh, boy. Come on, Corey. <laughs> Kent's got him. Here comes the latch. The flag's up. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Look at this. 132.69. As we take a look for this team, I believe they are going to slide in and they are going to make the advancement. Take a look at this. H.O. Cattle and Bonnet Farms at 120.52 is going to be making the advancement to the championship round. Somebody better get that team some oxygen and maybe some cold beer before they get there. You better believe it. Congratulations, Bonnet Farms. H.O. Cattle, they'll advance. From their heat, we'll take the top two to that $10,000 shootout round. Well, folks, Buffalo, did you enjoy that first section of the Ranch Rodeo? Boy, I did. While we set it up, I want to say thanks to the city of Buffalo, Bill Fick, Ford, Cody Johnson, the good folks at Resist All. Thanks to Panola Pipe and Salvage, along with Cinch, Jeans and Shirts, Lead Don't Follow. We also say thank you to Buffalo Livestock and Smarty. Train like a pro. Folks, be sure to stop by and get you a Smarty. Prefert, Prefert, rodeo and ranch equipment made for ranchers by ranchers. Team Ropers, we encourage you to practice the way you compete. Make it Prefert. How about Joplin Stockyards? We got our friends out of Joplin here. Big supporters, folks. That reminds me of those auction houses. We're going to be giving an, an options for some great items here tomorrow to raise money for the Cody Neesmith Foundation. You be sure to be here tomorrow as well for that Cody Johnson and, and Resistall Open 7-Header. Thank you to Rafter 4 Construction Services, SB Southern Welding, A Bear Town and Country Dodge. Thank you very much, as well as the City of Centerville for being a big part of this fantastic event. We want to say thank you to our friends at Classic Equipment Sales, LLC, Ryan Morrow and Company, big supporters since the start. We appreciate them and all they do. Rafter S Exterior, Buffalo EDC, Red Dirt Hat Company. Folks, you can stop by their booth and check them out today. Thank you to Fig Tree Energy Services for all that you do. And also, it's Durango Country. Folks... You be sure to slip into a pair of Durango boots. Hey, it's time for the open one-hander. It's talking about a rodeo run that we're going to watch here in the competition. We're going to start off with Cash Palmore, Dakota Kirkusleger. They are going to be the first team that we are going to watch here. It is a rope barrier. It's rodeo style that they're going to be competing right here. 
Decap, Texas, Whitesboro, Texas. Here's a set that know how to get it done. Hey, this Cash Palmore has put a lot of money in his pockets. Just jackpot team open. Dakota Kirchenslager, this guy, NFR qualifier, a horse trainer. Win Vin watching this guy grow up. Oh, my goodness. Watch. Look at this. We got it. Hey, Dakota. Oh, no. Oh, I thought we had the secret sauce here. Oh, a great team, a great opportunity going to be missed as we take a look at it again right there at home. Folks, if you are tuned in in X Factor, thank you for watching. That's Cash Palmore, Dakota Kirchenslager. We just couldn't get to the anchor. Okay, that's going to take us to team two, Jake Horman, Will Smith. Now, remember, Jake Orman has already run two in the ranch rodeo, and now he's got to do his other job, which is team roping. National finals qualifier, he's got a young gun with him, Will Smith. He is from Beat Ice, Texas. They are roping together, Jake Horman. He's already had a pretty good year already this year. He just won a Liberty. He's won Hempstead, Texas. Oh, now... Let's see what he and old Will can put together. Hey, it's a big opportunity on a big stage here in Buffalo, Texas. The world is watching on X Factor Roping. Folks, it's a one-header. It's a rodeo run. We got to see what kind of stripes these cats have. Jake Orman with the nod, with the fire right here. And this one's just not going to stick tonight. This team will take a no time. So we're going to stay over there and beat Ice, Texas, and a pair of them from there. That's Walker Smith and Corey Hendrick. You know, the tough side of this, we're watching 30 teams that are going to compete here. How do you play the game? Do you go out and get them caught? I don't think so, not with the field of flaggers or the field of ropers that we're going to be watching right here. You're going to have to be quick. There's just no telling. These guys are at the top of the pack right now. They've got to set that bar. And if they fail to do that, and now the guys at the bottom end, they're just sitting there licking their teeth and licking their chops. But even at this level, these guys' competition, you got to be comfortable being uncomfortable. These guys are at the apex of the sport, and now we got to do it here. It's Walker Smith and Corey Hendrick. You know, I bragged on uh, Jake Horman a while ago about he won at uh, a couple of different events. This guy that's on the hillsides, who he actually won, Henderson with and Liberty. So, Walker Smith on the head side, Corey Hendrick. They probably get to practice a little some. Oh, man. You know what? I'd have bet the farm that the first three weren't going to go out. I'd have lost the trailer house and two alpacas. Hey, hey, Team Ropers, we're going to have to change this up just a little bit. Let's change it up a little bit, folks. We're going to go to Madisonville, Texas, a guy that puts his jeans on the same way you and I do. The only difference is his are held up by gold. We're talking about Kobe Lovell, Madisonville. We're talking about one of the Oklahoma standouts, Jesson James. Folks, we want to see right here, Kobe Lovell, world champion, Jesson James. Been watching this guy take their money in the state of Oklahoma for many, many years. He's coming into his own. He's one of them, and he's got one of the best in the world. And, folks, he's just down the road in Madisonville. Let's give it up for Kobe Lovell. Let's go, Jesson James. Show him. Jesson. That is it. That's what it looks like, folks. 5.63 for Lovell and James. Man. To have the talent that that man has is truly phenomenal. Let's go to Jackson Hill, Colby Payne. That's the duo. Had the opportunity to watch Colby Payne, Texas Circuit Finals. This guy went a go around there. Four, six, finished second the average. Almost got him a trip to the NFR Open. That just kind of tells you his partner, Jackson Hill from Moores, Oklahoma, now they have something to be shooting after. We've got a bar. 563 is the time to beat. It's the one-header. Jackson Hill says, I'll get him right here. Look at Kobe Payne. Yes. Wow, folks. 4.07. Bring the pain. They're number one. 
Oh, boy. Let's go now to Tyler McGuffey from Bossier City, Louisiana. Oh, come on. Is there a gas leak? I said Bossier City, Louisiana. I know there's some folks from Louisiana. How about Hunter Cook from Vernon, Texas? Yeah. This is going to be handy. We've seen Tyler McGuffey tonight in the ranch rodeo. He was back to back. He's trying to make 10000 He's trying to do it with a rope and a horse. If it needs rope, if it needs tie, Tyler McGuffey's your guy right now. And it's time for a little Zydeco Rodeo as Louisiana is the quarterback on this one. Vernon, Texas, Hunter Cook on the backside. Hunter Cook two times to the National Finals Rodeo, Louisiana. Tyler McGuffey from Bossier City, Louisiana, right across that Texas line. Watch this. Speaking of line, whoo. He just sent a long line out, and it is not going to work out. I heard somebody say, are they really going to leave that pin up down there at the far end of the arena? <laughs> Nobody is going to get close to the pin. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. If we get that far, we might as well pull up. This is a one-hitter, 407-563, taking your top spots. Folks, here's a header. Clanton, Alabama, a man right here that finally they all saw him. Nelson Wyatt, he's got all the looks, he's got all the talent. We got an Alabama Cowboy right here on the front side. Lucas Falconer out of Normandy, Texas. Looking to beat that time of 407, set by Jackson Hill and Kobe Payne. They take a look, folks. That preferred shoot, what these steers are coming out of, is going to be for sale tomorrow. Wow! We go over the top. We go over the top, going to be plus five. Gonna be four and twelve. We add five for rope in the leg. That's gonna be nine and twelve. Nine and twelve. Let's go to High Code, Texas. Many Agasquiza. Mason Pitts from Hot Louisiana. Many Agasquiza. There you go, Louisiana. I like that. Ah, uh, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and say that. Uh, Mason on the back side. I seen him over there eating a little of that etouffee. He is dad cooked it, so he is fueled by a little etouffee tonight. Oh, boy. I got some of that etouffee. That is good now. Oh, man. They've got that jambalaya. They've got it all. Uh, now, watch this. Maniac Esquiza, six appearances to the NFR Open. This guy's made a Southeast Circuit champion. Oh, no. A little tough there. Going to be in no time. Hey, but look out. We got our flag carrier getting ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready. You know this guy on the front side, Midway, Texas, Ty Arnold. Ty Arnold and Chad Mathis, Montawa. It's time to pull those hats down tight. It's time to grit your teeth and pin your ears back, boys. We got to be faster than 407. And everybody's watching. The world's back here at X Factor Open. Ty Arnold. Mathis. Chad Mathis. You got to give it all you got. All we want is all you got. Now, folks, you take a look at these horses, that heel horse in particular, dancing around. Everything's got to be right. You've got a lot of minds at work, two horses, two cowboys, and an animal that does not want to get caught. They have competing responsibilities. Ty Arnold says, whoa, oh, my goodness, would that have done it? They're going to have five in the field. Oh, wow, they would have done it. 393. With a leg, folks, we're going to be 8 and 93 with that penalty, and that's going to take them out of it. Wow. That's fast. I just wished uh, without a penalty that I could be 893, and they did it with a penalty. You know, I was dreaming about being 393 one time, and I still I miss my dallies. <laughs> and it was my dream. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the Team 10, Peyton Nimick, Cody Hogan, Grand Cane, Louisiana, this guy on the back side, he won West Monroe, Lake Charles, Louisiana, Pro Rodeos. And this one is going to get away. 
So that was the first 10 in the competition that we watched. So remember, we'll have three sections of 10 of the one header. But I got a question for you. How many of y'all are ready to do a little more $10,000 added ranch rodeo action? Remember, those first five that we watched mean absolutely nothing. Nope. In this next set, we're going to be advancing two more teams to that shootout round with a 10,000. And boy, what a way to kick the party off as we go into the second section of the ranch rodeo. Why not start it? Okay. I tell you what, I think we need to kind of change the juju a little bit. Let's get our hands clapping to the beat of the music as we go to the Hill Cattle Team. Bobby Joe Hill, Hunter Cook, uh, Guy Wade, and Nelson Wyatt. Are you ready? Let's do it. Back to Ranch Rodeo. Folks, the flag is up. It's now down. You better go. Ooh. Whip and spur, boys. Whip and spur. The motto of Hill Rodeo Cattle. What was Bobby Joe looking for? Relief? Uh, he's like, uh, the gate. <laughs> Somebody... Okay. Oh, get no, open your come gate. Come on. Bobby Joe, you got to open the gate so that they can put them in. Pop the clutch. He's not used to that. Tara usually has to get out and get the gates. Okay. Now, they are looking for the heifer to leave in the two steers to get them out. Hey. Whoa. Wow. You got a tiger in the cage. Oh. Look at Bobby Joe Hill. Where did that come from? Whoa. Watch your fingers. He said those were Shannon's. It didn't bother him none. We got it right back here. We've got. What do we got? We got one down, trying to get it tied. We're trying to get one pinned. Folks, do you see a plan coming together yet? Uh, I'm not <laughs> sure I see a plan. It looks like more like chaos going together. I, I'm, hey, boys, y'all might want to go do some more roping. They had not even got the one cow in there. Before y'all head out the gate, they still got another one to rope. This mess is a place. <laughs> Hunter, your teammates have not been doing anything while you've been working. There we go. There we go, boys. No, no. Oh, look at this. Watch Hunter. Oh. Whoop. Hey, Grab dynamite comes by in small horns. packages. Watch this. Hunter said, I'll give him a little bulldog in action. All right. Give him the anaconda squeeze. The anaconda squeeze. Help a buffalo. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh man. Ouch. Ow. Ouch. I'll kick you back. <laughs> I oh. noticed that Bobby Joe's always on the roping side. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, now they got to do a little cleanup on aisle three. There we go. Hustle, guys. Oh, you got about 40 seconds to get out of the arena. Let's finish it. You never know. Got to get that gate latched, all the trash out. Everything good. We wait to look to make it official. Oh. Here come our top hands. 154.79. 154.79 is going to be their time. Remember, they only got to be the top two fastest times out of their section. Yeah, and you know the draw is so important right here is they were the first one out. Everybody else gets to see kind of what happens, but the leveling of this, I mean, you're dealing with three animals right here that don't want to get caught. They don't want to cooperate. Look, we got them chasing. Okay. Now. We are going to put those away and get our next set. Man, can you imagine 10000 added in a ranch rodeo like this? Hey, it's worth it. It is worth it's it. It's worth putting your heart on the line. It's worth if you get run over. It's worth if it doesn't, something doesn't go right and your friends are making fun of you, but they're on the outside. You're on the inside fighting. It's not the critic that counts. It's the man in the arena that counts. Smith Horseshoe and Dustin Monique. Robert Fay, Mason Pitts, and Landon Smith. 
That's the team that we're going to be watching here. And the flag is down. Now we bring on the Ropers, the Riders, and all the team. They're looking for the one they need. Can't the gate's it. open. How are they going to play the game? That's the interesting side of it. How are they going to work this? We got an army of one back there. <laughs> They're saying, let's, uh, oh, look at that. Just, oh. Whoa. That almost. Wow, what a cut. What a cut now. They don't want him to get out, though. Okay. Hey, look at this. We go on the hill side. Who's that? Ooh. We got Mason Pitts. Mason Pitts is on the head here. Look at that. Yeah. That guy's double tough. They're still working on getting the rope off down there. Come on, guys. Don't quit. Just take you a deep breath, rest, and then you're going to have to mash on the gas to do some more. We got the heifer pen look like. We're going to go for the feet. Hey, there's your shot. Things are coming together now. Take a look at it, how it is gelling. Ooh. Hey, look out right here, Farron. We could have a leaderboard change if they could get this tie going in their direction. We just got to be good enough, guys. Good enough. Because make... remember, that animal must be tied when the gate closes. Everybody's cheering them on. Look at that. Woo. Impressive, TC. We just watched the fastest run of the Ranch Rodeo thus far, 93.39. Holy cow. They just, uh, well, if this was barrel racing, they just 2 deed the Ranch Rodeo event. <laughs> yes, they did. They were the separation. They were the cause. And now they're the team to beat here in the second heat of this Ranch Rodeo invitation on that one header as we say thank you to our fantastic sponsors right now for the Ranch Rodeo and Invitational. That is Stanley Feed and Seed. For your feed and seed need, folks, be sure to stop by Stanley. Buffalo EDC and Centerville EDC, thank you for all of your kindness and contribution. Buffalo Livestock Marketing Incorporated, thank you for what you do for the industry. We appreciate you. Rafter 5454 Construction, thank Thank you for everything you build, create, and fix. We appreciate all of your help. All of our great sponsors right there for the Ranch Rodeo and Invitational One Hitter. So, Falconer Ranch is going to be the next team that we're going to watch here. As uh, Lucas Falconer, Peyton Emmett, Jake Starnes, and Hunter Wells. All right, 93. How do you play this game? You see, You see how not easy. It's not easy to do this. Uh, all I'm just going to say is you got to be thinking about second. I kind of think this is what you need to be looking at. So we're trying to be hopeful. Oh, uh, hope floats. Hope floats. Okay. Flags down. Look at this. They kind of got them wherever they were. Oh, man. Oh, yes. Watch this. Gather them up. Gather them up. Oh, hey. Come on, boys. Keep trying. It's hey, look not at over. Look what they got going down there. One of them's already got him roped. He's holding. He's just waiting for somebody to do some He's tying. Like, You're on your own. I'm going over here. <laughs> His old man quit him like a doctor quits it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, boy. I don't know what's uh -oh. happening. So much uh -oh. going on right now. Oh. Oh, look at this. I might have had this plan better than what we thought. Uh oh. So, Lucas, they're going to rebuild. Man. Now he wished he wouldn't have threw his loop down. He's going to head him off. And that didn't work. <laughs> well, I'm just going to say I think they're shooting at second now. Yes. They have found Houdini. This one can get out of anything. Oh. 
Oh, no. He says, I'm just going to go catch him. Yeah. Slow him down. Slow him down. I Look got at this. him. Uh, hey. Oh, no. Go get him. Don't you stop now. Come on, Buffalo. Cheer him on. He said, I'm going to cowboy up. Don't you stop now. It's $10,000. Oh, man. The rope, the horse. Remember where they left it. They got to go back and get it. All right. Now we're looking for the fire. We're also looking for air. <laughs> oh, they are looking for everything right now. 30, 30. seconds left that you got to get this done in. Finish the job, boys. Finish the job. Folks, don't quit on them now. They hadn't quit on you. Help them. Tell them. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, no pressure, boys. No pressure, but somebody better be gathering up some other items. Oh, man. There's I don't know. Something. That's a bad noise for some, but for some that may feel a little better, a little relief. Thank you. <laughs> Thank somebody you. blow the whistle. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Well, folks, how about a round of applause? They gave it all the way to the end. Sometimes things just don't work out. The way you drew them out. And it'll be tough right here as we maximize the time at three minutes. Okay. So our next team that we're going to be watching. Holmes of Ranch. Is going to be our next team to go. Cody Holmes, Tyler Holmes, uh, Ryder Pride, and Dexter Goodman. Now, Dexter Goodman, he's a steer wrestler. Hey, I don't know that we've had a steer wrestler on the team yet. Hey, we're going to see if that's going to be the item that is the secret to doing fantastic. You see them to get down on these steers and try to get them bulldogs, but when you know the deal... That can save you a lot of time. Oh, yeah. So, right now, you got to be faster than 154.79 in order to be advancing out of the set. Okay. Here we go. We're underway. Oh, boy. So, Holmes Ranch, Cody Holmes, Tyler Williams, Ryder Pride, and Dexter Goodman. Okay, easing him over that away. Okay, we got stock on string. Oh, no, we don't have any stock on string. Well, <laughs> we're low on stock. We're low on, on string. Stock. Oh, we're about to be out of the team roping business here just a little bit. Somebody just get down there and grab them. Oh, I hope that's a heifer. Okay. Put him in the pen, boys. You know what I've noticed? Nobody has taken the thought about maybe somebody getting off to get the gate. Everybody plays the game a little different. Okay, Dexter said, y'all work on that. I'm going to start working on this. Now, is Dexter going to throw the rope down and just bulldog one, or is he going to rope him? All right. Throw the rope down and bulldog him. He like said, I need, I need a hazer, a hazer <laughs> and there's no hazers. <laughs> so we are thinking the same thing. Here we go. Oh, no. Well... A lot more to it. <laughs> oh, there's a lot going on. Oh, Dexter's got him rope. Oh, don't put that one in the pen. I'm just going to say, Dexter, you might want to come this way. You got a long ways. You're going to have to run. All right, that one's drawing dead. They're going to have to rebuild. 
We're at 136 right now. Dexter's got his rope. Somebody needs to get off and throw this one down. I want to see Dexter do it. He says, all right. Woo. Ask and you shall receive. Watch this. Come on, Dex. Get us some. Yes. There we go. Now we put him in his side of the game. You got only 20 seconds, boys. Finish it. Get one done. They got him rope. I'm going to say somebody better jump off and tie that one. Oh, no. They are going to hit the time limit. It is going to be a no time for the team here. Folks, give them a little love here this afternoon or tonight. So right now, only two teams have caught. And, and Bobby Joe Hill is in there right now. Hey. So that's one, two, three. We've only got two to go. They got two to sweat. Last two. Am I right? We've got one to go? Yeah, one to go. What show have I been watching? I don't know. Bobby Just, Joe is on the bubble right now. Oh, my gosh. We got one to go in this heat. And look who the team oh, is. Oh, no. Hey, let's set up the heat no. that you're about to watch. Bobby Joe Hill is on the bubble. Listen to this. S&S Cattle. Colby Lovell, Dakota Kirkenslager, uh, Ty Arnold, and Casey Rice. You boys are in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at uh, Hill Rodeo, they're in trouble. Yeah. I'm just going to say, Bobby Joe, you better be sitting on pins and needles because you've got a tough team that is aboard you. You got one to sweat. You know, I said I don't know that they could beat the 93. If anybody can do that, this team right here may be a good shot at it. You better believe these guys have been over there meddling and saying, hey, we're going to do this and we're going to do that. You get that heifer in, I'm going to do this. Watch this plan come together real quick. Flag is up, flag is down. Folks, let s, &S Cattle time to get down. Oh, boy. It's time to turn this into a cowboy town. Oh, Kobe's going to head to the gate. Now they got to pin the heifer rope, the two steers. There's a lot of yelling going on, I guarantee it, and they're just telling exactly what needs to happen. They're all thinking it. Bam. That Dakota. He's got a rope, I believe. Watch this. They're going to go ahead and start taking care of their side of the job. Hey, hey, don't wrote this one. Watch Kobe Lovell on the backside here. Yeah, now, now they're going to have to do something amazing. Look at Kobe Lovell go ahead and get that short rope. He's going to yeah. let his go. Oh, he's going for it for himself, hey, look folks. look at this. He's going That's for it himself. That's what you call a cowboy right there. Help him out, Buffalo. Hey, they've worked in the pasture by themselves. Help is not always on the way. Look at this. Ty Arnold just did the same thing. They've got cowboy-type horses. Here comes Casey Rice to help right here, Ty Arnold. Oh, yes. Uh-oh, they can't get the rope off the foot over here on this side. Dakota's going to gather his horse. Kobe's taking a look. He got the cattle boss aboard. Kobe Lovell's telling Dakota, sprinkle some andale on it. Casey Rice, you got it, boys. Oh, you got to sprinkle more than a little underlay. You better sprinkle a bunch of underlay, boys. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Are you in? You better hurry. Casey Rice with the gate. Lot of be latched, Casey. Wow. Oh. 109.82. They're going to advance. Hey. So, while we do this, hey, guys. You know, we talked about how good the shoot crew is here. They have been working hard. Tell them the rest of the story. Well, get this. Joe Hageman comes up here with Resisto. Listen up, cattle crew. Hey, cattle crew. Resisto is going to give you all some cowboy hats. And Jessica with cinch. You're getting some cinch jeans as well. How about it? The cattle crew doing work. Hey, the cattle crew, they threw their hats while ago. They creased them up. 
So resist all said they're giving all the cattle crew brand new hats and Jessica with cinch said they've dirtied their jeans. They're giving them brand new jeans to the cattle crew. How about a round of applause to them and our great partners. They just keep stepping up to the plates. <laughs> Uh, those hats that they have are going to be trashed. <laughs> oh, but who cares? They got brand new resist They dolls. got resist dolls. I may throw mine out. Yes, we live it every day. Thank you to oh. our friends at resist all and cinch. Lead don't follow. Folks, take a look at those white label jeans. Come on, my favorites right oh, there. Oh, yes. Well, I tell you what, they're great partners in the industry. We say thanks to Cinch along with Resist All helping out. I tell you what, that is the working arm side of the thing. They have got still two more days in front of them. How many of y'all are ready to go back to a little more team roping? As we take a look right now in the lead, a 407 is the current to pass time here. That's Jackson Hill, Colby Payne. We're going to run 10 more teams here, we're going to go down to Team 20. We're going to start it off with Bobby Joe Hill and Travis Graves is going to be the team that we are going to be watching here. Hey, Bobby Joe got bumped out in the ranch rodeo, so now he's got to make up for it here in the team roping. And here's a guy that can do it. Mahead, Texas, Bobby Joe Hill. He's got his part. TG, TG. Yes. Oh, wow, folks. Bobby Joe says, you going to kick me out? I'm just going to step to the front of the line, top hand. 3.90. We've taken the lead. I'm just going to say Bobby Joe Hill. Bobby Joe Hill needs to call X Factor and buy the video. He ain't never been 390 in his entire life. <laughs> buy the video, Bobby Joe. You just did it. Okay. Let's Jeez, go to Cole Smith geez. and Levi Lord, Stephenville and Mineral Wells. Was that not good? That was impressive. So much fun to watch. Taking it up another level. Here's Cole Smith. Levi Lord. Four forty three plus five. Nine and forty three gonna be on the time. We get set to go now to our next team. It's Dustin Guskiza. Folks, when this guy shows up, if he's in the arena, he's within range. Hey, but the cool side, Colby Lovell is doing the healing side. We all know he has a world title on the head side. But for a long time, when you go to any amateur rodeo across the country, you always see Colby Lovell on a paint, a horse, doing a healing side. This guy's a hand right here. You watch. You just watched him. He just got inside the short round of the ranch rodeo. Watch this side. Colby Lovell. Yeah. Wow. Who said he's just a world champion header? I'd like to see him go win one of those world titles. He's like, healing. you want to see it with my left hand? You want to see it with my left? How about 3.97? Oh, man. Okay. But you want to change the fast time? Yeah, yeah. You got to be lightning fast. Oh. Let's go to Lightning Aguilera from Athens, Texas, and the young gun Caden Profili from Jacksonville, Texas. There's only one speed that Lightning knows, and that's fast. That's it. I've been watching this young man since he come from Florida, and he moved to Texas just so that he could be closer to the roping side of the game. Qualified to his first NFR. This young man on the backside, the only thing that's kept him out of that chance is an age and a birthday. Oh, no. Tough luck here. They're going to be in no time. We'll see a lightning on another one in just a moment. And I kind of like his partner that he has on his next one. Well, it doesn't work out for these guys here. So let's go ahead and try it again, folks. Remember, we're pushing as fast as we got. 390? Are you kidding me? Let's go to Clay Smith. We're talking about a guy, two world titles, Iowa Park, Texas, by way of Broken Bow, Oklahoma. He's teamed up with Nikki Northcott, Stephenville, Texas, 16, 17 years old, and he's right here with them. 
You got a world champion. Two towels says, hey, you 16-year-old kid, I'll rope with you. Let's do it. Hey, that's another young gun right there that is just a couple of birthdays away from being to Las Vegas. And maybe Clay Smith knows that, and he said, I'm going to start tuning him up here at the Cody Neesmith Smith Memorial Team Roping. Look at this. Tuning. What are you talking? Holy moly. Holy moly. moly. How about 3.56 on the run? <laughs> oh. Folks, that guy on the backside, 17 years old, my land. I was 17. I, I don't know what I was doing. I wasn't doing Ooh, that. Chasing the milk cows somewhere. Yeah. Wow. Jeez. I didn't even know I could do something like that. All right. We're going to go now to pay name it. Lucas Falconer. Talking about Stephenville, Texas. Norman G. Texas. Stephenville. City of Champions. Cowboy Capital. And right there, we're going to take us a swing and a miss. And that... Texas team's going to be no time here tonight for Payne Emmett and Lucas Falconer. Hey, I want to remind you, tomorrow evening, we've got that Cody Johnson seven-header that's going to be taking place. That's $50,000 added in that roping. That's going to be an amazing roping. I can promise you that. Tyler McGuffey, Mason Pitts, Bossier City, Louisiana, and Hot Louisiana, Come on, Louisiana, make a little noise. Get a little rowdy over there. The Pelican State, let's do it. Let's get it for the Louisiana boys. I want to see them. All right, three and 56. My goodness, standing proud. We just got to be good. We got to give it the best. Over the top. Horse didn't cooperate with us there on the front side. We had a lot of things go wrong when at this point of the game, you need a lot of things to go right. They're going to be here in no time. Okay. Cash Palmore, Cody Hogan, Decap, Texas, Grand Cane, Louisiana. I was bragging on Cody Hogan a little earlier on. He won Lake Charles, Louisiana, the pro rodeo there. He's made him a little Louisiana run, trying to make that Southeast Circuit Finals. Let's see, though. Team roping. And the jackpots is where this guy has really shined. It's a one-header, though. It doesn't matter. We're not talking about average. We're talking about getting it out of your hand. We've seen Cash really put it on him right there earlier on. They had a chance. Him and Dakota, they missed. Cody Hogan right now, another guy just as talented with a heel rope. This guy can do things with a rope most cannot even think about or explore. So Cash, Palmore, Decap, Texas, Cody Hogan, let them know you're here. Let them know you're here. They are. We take a look. It's clean. Folks, Louisiana, are you here? 3.40. We got new leaders, and they're from Louisiana. Oh, there's uh, any LSU Tiger fans here in town? Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's go. Hey, we would just watch Ty Arnold in the ranch rodeo, Midway, Texas, Caden Pro Philly, Jacksonville, Texas. This is a set that really knows how to get it on. Come on, Ty Arnold, get it out of your hand. They know that they're going to have to take chances. If you want to win here, you can't uh, let it get too far down the pin. You've got to make it all work. These guys have put in years, years to get at this level. They've got all the practice. They rope for their horses. They rope for themselves, and tonight's got to be for themselves. As we take a look at a 3-40, and 40, Cash Palmer, Cody Hogan, Louisiana, number one right now. Clay Smith, Nicky Northcott with a 356. Third is Bobby Joe Hill, Travis Graves, 390. Rounding out fourth, Dustin Aguskiza, Kobe Lovell, 397. Jackson Hill, Kobe Payne with a 407. So let's go to uh, Team 20. That's Jay Corman and Corey Hendrick. Right here, Anderson and Beat Ice, Texas. Oh, man. We just watched them here. They got a little beat going. I know Jake Horman's got some fans. I know that Corey Hendricks has got some fans. Now, let's put some fan power behind them. Oh, yeah. Headshot, heel shot. 
Hey, they're going to get into the fence in turn three. How about a 4.06 on the run? How would you like to have to try to make a living day out roping against these guys? Folks, you're seeing it right here. This is what they call the wolves. Oh, the wolves are here at a 406. That just tells you how tough the game is when you just watch a run like what we've seen in that set. 340, a 356, oh, a 406, a 407. Man, it is a tough, tough shot at it. When a 406 is winning fifth, wow. That's an impressive run right here. 3 and 40, 356. So, I got a question for you. We got any ranch rodeo fans that want to see another set of ranch rodeo action? Oh, I know you got to do that. I know we want to see some more ranch rodeo action, right? Let's do it. There you go. Come on, clap your hands to the beat of the music. This is the team of Diamond H Ranch. Cameron Sues, Frank Cosigata, Blake Horton, and Hul Willis. Oh, this one's a good one. Diamond H Ranch. It's Ranch Rodeo. Hey, they got fans. All right, let's take a look. Franco Asagueta on the paint horse here to your left. Oh, this is kind of like the Cody Neesmith team right here, isn't it? Yes, they've got everything. We got our sponsors. We got Young Roper O'Hill right there with us. All right, boys, let's make it work now. Come on, cheer for them. At Hugh Willis out of Pitkin, Louisiana. There in the pink shirt, Franco, we got our part. Don't let him go, Franco. He wanted to get down here by his fans. Okay, he said, I watched a while ago somebody do something where they got <laughs> off by themselves. Yeah. So, hey, boys, we got one caught over here. Remember, all you got to be is the fastest two times out of your set. This one's kicking it off. Oh, now. His partner's coming in now. All right, who we got right here? All right, Blake, here we go. He says, well, I'm just going to take matters in my own hands. And, and my own hands there. Here's matters. All right. Come on, Franco! This this kind of looks like me trying to get my prom date in the car. <laughs> Come on. All right, all right, put it on that one. We got Hill working on the back, Cameron as well. They're coming right at you. Give them a little support. This is not easy. And he says, hold on, I got the rope. Let me get it. I got the tail. I got the rope. Hey, there you go. Whoop. Oh. Don't let go. Look at there. The littlest guy is the anchor man here. All right. Hey, here boys, you, you might want to help your partners out. There you go, Blake. Get over there. You got about the 35 seconds left. Franco's going to get everything gathered uh -oh. up. Uh-oh. Do you notice something? There is a hat out there in the middle. Remember, you can't leave anything in the arena. What do we got in the corner? 20 Hill's seconds. Got Hill and Blake, they're talking it over. You be sure everything's clean. Look by the uh, steer. They're trying to tell you to look by the steer. Maybe look by the steer. I don't know. Oh, no. no. Folks, oh. how about a round of applause? We tried it. Oh. They did what some most wouldn't do right there, boys. Good work. We're just going to take us in no time tonight. Uh, the best part was Kay trying to tell them what they had left out in the arena. Kay is hollering, clean up on aisle three. You have left something out there. 
She is giving mama directions from the seats. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. That means that we are going to be moving now to Williams Cattle Company. That's Tyler Williams, Cody Holmes, Ryder Price, and National Champion. I like that name. Oh, yeah. He's been a pickup man of the year, but now we got to see if he's a really a rodeo hand, okay? Oh. A ranch rodeo oh, hand. I've seen this guy roping cattle on the road. Didn't they make a TV show with this oh, guy? Oh, yeah. The old highway cowboys. Is that they're what not it was? on the highway. They're inside the pen. A little more controlled environment we are going to put this national champion yeah. in. Yeah. Oh, we also seen him. Farmer needs a wife, but he was just in the arena when they were doing that, okay? Uh, <laughs> be careful what you get into, folks. <laughs> okay. Tyler Williams, Cody Holmes, Ryder Pride, and uh, national champion. That's the team that we're going to be watching here. Right now, they just need to get them a qualified time. Okay, off to the races we go. Let's get them hooked up now, gentlemen. Let's do this. We almost had us a collision. A collision, But yeah. that's what we come to watch. <laughs> They're just all roping at something, then they'll figure out the sex of them in a minute. Say, what do you got? I don't know. Hey. Okay. Oh, hey, look at this. Nashville's got his uh, roped. I don't know if it's a heifer, if that's a steer, but somebody looks like they're about to start tying this one. Hey, they may have the right ideal. They're looking pretty good on the time now if they can get everything pinned. We got a lot of things going. I don't know if we got them in the right direction, but we got a lot of things going. Look at this guy. He is wrapping him up. It's like, we've just got to get this one down. Give me enough time to get down to it. Okay. Here we go. Look at this. We got a gate. That guy's going to win all around hand. He has been everywhere. Okay, boys. They said they need somebody to come tie this one down now. Oh, oh. man. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay. That was a long ways from the ground. That's the reason he missed the step. Come on, hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry now. What's left is the question. What's left is get out of the He's arena. Like, He's like, give me a ride. Give me a ride. Look at me go. Oh, uh -oh. no. You lost your hat. Oh, man. Oh, that happens to him in the pasture sometimes, too. Hurry. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hurry. Green light. Green light. Get the ropes. <laughs> Close the gates. Oh. 1 53 10. I'm tired. Oh, man. Holy cow. Oh, look. Watch the shoot crew. They're having to do some wrestling down there, too. They said, it's okay. We can get our pants dirty, and we can mess up our hats. We got new ones coming from Resist All and Cinch. <laughs> we do want to say thank you to our friends at Stanley Feed and Seed. Thank you, Buffalo EDC, as well as Centerville EDC. We appreciate you and all of your support. Thank you for being here, and we also would like to say thank you for sponsoring the Ranch Road and Invitational One Header. That is Buffalo Livestock Marketing Incorporated and Rafter 5454 Construction. So, Rodale Ranch is going to be the next team. Hunter Wells, Shannon Rodale, Caden Profilly, and Franco Osaguero is going to be the team. Now, Shan Shan, the pickup man on the team right here, Rodale Ranch. That means he's the team captain. He's given all the instructions. Here we go. The gates open. Flags down. Gates open. Cowboys are in. 
Riddell oh. is leaving the leading the pack. You know, Shannon, he's an all-around hand. He could be the roper. He could be the dogger. He could be the tractor driver if we need him. There's a guy that can do it all. Franco, he's ready, too. Oh. Bronco's got his winding up. Shannon's got his. Oh, come on now. Whoa. What just happened? He's like, well, we got one. Let's go ahead and get down on this one. Franco's on the ground. Come on, Franco. The VIPs are cheering for you. Yes. Miss K is giving the directions. He's like, not this time. Oh. All right, we got one down by ourselves. Hey, look at this guy. He hey. said, I don't need y'all. Hey, come on, guys. Look, we got the heifer. We get this one all taken care of inside. We got one tied, TC. We got two tied. Hey, now come on. Gotta, somebody, guys, you're under. Come on. Somebody got to go help Shan Chan down there. In the words of Gizmo McCracken, shut the gates. Oh, they're both, both are tied, tied down. Got to get oh. everything cleared out, boys. Hold on to your hats. Come on, whip and spur. Hold on to your hats. Folks, we might do something here. Wow. Hey. Oh. Hey, commendable. It was. Respectable. Respectable and a new leader for the section, 125.97. Hey, how about it, guys? That's a new leader right there for the heat. You very well might be competing for that $10,000 added here in just a little bit. Oh. Hey, I like what this next team, the next team is GT Ranch, Hunter Cook, Wyatt Bray, Guy Wade and Jesson James. Texas, Oklahoma combos. Wow. Yeah. I, I'm voting on White Bray. He's got to be the anchor of this side, okay? he's He's got to be the tallest one part of the team, okay? Without a doubt, here's a guy placed at the BFI. Wyatt Bray. Wow, we got us a really good team. Lots of potential, lots of talent. Getting ready to go here. Oh, we are underway here. Oh, boy. It's cowboy time. They got the gate open. They're easing the herd. Oh, Did that get worked it? just like they had planned for it to work. They've got it. They've got some momentum. Oh, they got one rope, too. They've done it okay. under a minute. I don't know. They've if, done it under 45 seconds. Look at White Bray. He's going to tie this like a tie-down calf. His legs are long enough to do that. Oh, look out. We could have us a new leader. This might be special. They got to be sure everything's cleared out. One's tied. One's pinned. They're working on another one. You guys need to scan the arena. Make sure it's clear. Oh, look. He what? saw it. He saw it. Good eye, Wyatt. Okay. He's going to be the janitor. He's going to be the janitor, but somebody's going to have to get the horse. Uh-oh. They have dropped the classic rope. I love Miss K as the director of cleaning the arena. There we go. Everything good? Get through it, boys. Come on. Okay. So, 
How Not about bad. a 103.53? They are new leaders for GT Ranch. Looking to punch their ticket to that shootout. Look at the smiles down below. Yeah. They're yelling at each other, and then they get there. It's like, man, you know I was kidding. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Look at there. The million-dollar grin from Wyatt Bray. Uh-oh. But this is kind of my favorite team. This is kind of my favorite team because it is going to be the Neesmith Ranch team. Yes, and how about this star-studded cast? Colby Lovell, Bobby Joe Hill, Ty Arnold, and Dakota Kirkenslager is a team for the Neesmith Ranch. They need to be... Faster than a 125.97 to go to the lead. It's time to do it. Knock leather right here. Neesmith Ranch. Boys, it's time to ride. Okay. Here comes Dakota. He's on the flank side. Bobby Joe. Level with the gate popped open. Bobby Joe, Ty Arnold. When the wind is not good enough, we go to the oars, boys. Grab the oars. Hey, how about Bobby Joe is catching everything he throws at? Hey, Colby Lovell, he's got one rope. Can he do this again? Watch this. This is cowboy stuff. Hey, here's the guy that's been training for the Ironman. He's been... He's been doing all the work. Look at his training. This guy is cowboy tough. Kobe Lovell's doing it, folks. If you're not paying attention, you better open your eyes. Hey, it's a three-bone uh, tie, so he's trying to pull another leg in there. It could be a front leg if you have to. Now, did you see what he just did? He took and loosened it up, but he went ahead and tied the front, too. He knows he could chase him down that way. That was a businessman's move. Now he's going to just make sure it's going to stay tied. Now, Ty Wait. Arnold has already got his tie. This is Team Neesmith right here. Get Bobby the Joe, rope. you may have to get off your horse every once in a while, buddy. Go to him. Oh, looky here. He looks like a barrel racer going to the finish line. Lock it, lock it. Get the latch. Oh, 112.70. And they are going to make it. Oh, they're going to win second, so they're going to make it to the short round. And along with GT Ranch, Hunter Cook, White Bray, Guy Wade, and Jesson James are going to be advancing to the short round. How exciting is that? We'll get to see those six teams. We'll put them together. It's going to be a clean slate for that shootout round, so it'll be the fastest time wins. They'll get one chance at it. $10,000 added. What a fantastic event right there. So, TC, our shootout has been set. We'll let it be seated by times, and then we'll go from there. We'll get the order in which they'll go in just a moment. But, folks, the shootout round has been set. So, uh, H.O. Cattle, then Bonnet, Neesmith, s s Ranch, GT Ranch, and Smith Horseshoeing is going to be our six teams that we're going to watch, and that order is how they will compete. Uh oh. Wait, we're getting a call from the arena floor. They yeah. are telling us that Team 15 is going to be a no time, and uh, I guess there was an item in the arena. There was a rope on the gate. Oh, There was a no. rope on the gate, so a disqualification for the Neesmith team. We will let you know in a moment who is going to admit 
fit in there, but let's go to team roping. Let's do Justin it. Justin Agaskiza, Levi Lord hey, is going to be the team. Here's a team that has been going together here this year, folks. They put their money up. They're looking to make a living together, and this is the night for them to shine. Right now in the team roping, a 340, a 356, and a 397. Here comes Agaskiza. Lord, get the money. Get the money. Hey, how about 3.54, 354. That's going to move them into second right now in this invitational one-header. You take a look at Eguskis. It comes over the top. Levi Lord making it look easy. That is slow-mo, folks. If you're watching it there at the house, having that fear of missing out type deal. So, with the disqualification of the Neesmith team, Rodell Ranch is going to slide in there. They'll be the second team to go. So, this is a team of Lightning Aguilera and Colby Lovell. Lightning Aguilera, Colby Lovell. Athens and Madisonville. Yeah, we had to give him just a second. He was just in the part of that last team. And now he's got to do another part of the game. Here he comes, a big old smile on his face. He's about to do it right here. Here's a guy. It don't matter if you're hunting hogs. If you got your horse, you got your gun, we're going to go hunt. We're going to go fish. We're going to go cross rivers. Or then we're going to go rope something, and then we might go do some ranching stuff. This Kobe Lovell, here's a guy that loves this western way of life. Lightning Aguilera, front side. Kobe Lovell, back side. Wow. Hey. Oh, no. 340. We matched the time, but, folks, we broke the barrier. It's going to be plus 10, 13, 40. We didn't give that animal enough of a head start, and we will take a 10-second penalty. We're out of it. Woo. I want to see him try to make the NFR healing. I think he can do it. He could do it. Let's go to Manny Agaskiza, Travis Grays. Come on, clap your hands, the beat of the music. Heiko and Bluffdale, Texas. Oh, this is good stuff right here. The Cody Nee Smith. If you are having a good time, you don't want to miss tomorrow night either. We're going to be auctioning off all kinds of great items. An autograph to Smarty Steer by the world champions competing. Ha, ah, Travis Graves, a machine. 3.88 on the run, 3.88. Fantastic run, TG. Goes ahead and takes a look, squares up, lays it in for two. Let's move to Bobby Joe Hill and Chad Mathis. This team, a team, at all the rodeos as well. Bobby Joe Hill, Mahia, Texas. Chad Mathis out of Montalba. We've seen Bobby Joe Hill go over the top once. we got to do it again right here. Him and Chad Mathis. Looking to make the crowd go wild. He has been catching it all. Ah, uh, take a look. Right here is going to be no time. No time for Bobby Joe and Chad. Folks, don't forget tonight, Jacob Gonzalez is going to be here. We're going to have us a ranch rodeo dance after this, TC. We're going to go ahead and kick a hole in the floor. We're going to dance and Howl at the moon a little bit after this ranch rodeo. Folks, you be sure to stick around and hang out with us here after the rodeos, the rodeo. It is that. Let's go to Nelson White, Clinton, Alabama, Hunter Cook from Vernon, Texas. Ooh, boys. To go to the lead, you need to be faster than a 3.40. That's the fastest time that we have watched so far. And then, don't forget, we're going to have the shootout of the ranch rodeo. Oh, he's going to slip a leg. 332, but plus 5, 8 and 82 with the penalty. 
eight and thirty two. Correction. All right, let's take it to Moyers, Oklahoma for the next two. These boys traveled together. Oklahoma boys at Jackson Hill and Jesson James. Excited to watch these two guys go. Looking to make a name right here in Texas. The rodeo crowd knows them. Buffalo, Texas, you're about to get introduced to them. Here comes Jackson Hill and Jesson James. Oklahoma back to the box. Trying to get it on right here as fast as they can. Take a look right here, Jackson Hill, Jesson. Oh, no. We tipped that horn. Folks, that happens. These guys come in with heavy anticipation. It doesn't work here. Oklahoma's going to take a no time as you watch it again right there at the house. X-Factor roping bringing you this. Just a little bit of a mishap, and it happens here. No time. So we're going to go to Clay Smith and Colby Payne, Iowa Park, Texas, Stephenville, Texas. Oh, if you don't subscribe to X Factor, you need to do so. You can go back and watch this event. Colby Payne on the back side. Two-time world champion Clay Smith taking care of the horn shot. Get it on them, boys. We need to be faster than a 3 and 40. That's easy work for these guys. But this one going to slip away. No time. Thanks to folks at Smarty. Thanks to Neutrina oh, helping us out. And Outlaw Spirit, the city of Buffalo, the city of Centerville. As we go to Cole Smith and Nikki Northcott. Stephenville, Texas. You already had an opportunity to watch this young man shine. Right now he's winning second in the roping with Clay Smith. Now Cole Smith is going to be doing the heading. Nikki Northcott. On the hillside. Oh, my. That guy's super fast. Impressive. How about a four flat on the run? Four flat. That is going to put them around the number six position. Wow, impressive, folks. If you're watching on TV there through X Factor Open and folks are here watching in the stands, prefer to shoot that these steers are coming out. We're going to auction that off tomorrow as well. That is something that you're going to be able to put together. That money going to the Cody Neesmith Foundation, a wonderful foundation, helping out families in need. Let's go to the Smith boys. You know, over 16 families helped through that auction in this rope and you can have an opportunity. Let's watch the Smith boys. Hey, Walker and Will getting jiggy with it. 3.94 for the Smith family. Fantastic run here at the Leon County Expo Center. Folks who are watching some of the fastest, some of the best in the world right here in the one-header. So we get ready to go. Hey, what about this one, TC? Oh, this one. Yes or be no? Good. Just tell me. I'm going to say yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to say it's Colby Lovell on the head side, Dakota Kirkenslinger, the team. You're talking about national finalists, but you're talking about world titleist on the head side. Dakota Kirkenslinger, Whitesboro, Texas, is going to be taking care of the heel shot. You hear that song, All the Way Up? All yeah. the way up. All the way up is where they want to be, the fast time final team to go in the one-header of the Cody Neesmith Memorial Team Open. Hey, they got Wyatt Bray pushing the steer. He's in the shoot right now, the preferred shoot. Believe it or not, there's enough room. Oh. There it goes. Oh, my. Wow. Whoa. Are you serious? Oh, it is going to be a 4-18 on the run, 4-18. and 18. Look how long of the loop he throws out there. Dakota Kirkenslugger, he don't let it bake very long, I can no. tell you that. Woo, that boy. is so cool. Folks, what did you think about the one-header here today, the fast time? 
Cash Palmore, Cody Hogan, Decab, and Grant Kane, Louisiana. They are going to be the winners of the one header. But it ain't over yet. It's time for a little ranch rodeo. I want to call those teams back to you. As I said, Team 15 was marked out. So this is the order they will compete. HO Cattle, 132.69. Rodale Ranch, 125.97. Bonnet, that is uh, going to be a 120.52 SNS at 109.82 GT Ranch, 103.53 and Smith Horseshoeing at a 93.39. Those times mean nothing except for how they qualify in. It is a clean slate here. You've already experienced Ranch Rodeo teams. Now you get to hone it in just a little bit. Don't forget. For our guys in that one header, we'll need you immediately following for picks. Right there, we need pictures and prizes. We're going to be granting a Kerry Kelly bit to the top horse, an ice hole cooler to the top hand of the ranch rodeo. Folks, you be sure to stick around. Jacob is going to be kicking things off with the music here in just a little bit. It'll be a rodeo dance to follow this. As we get ready, it's the shootout round. It's time to go from fantasies to dreams and dreams to bigger things. It's time to find out who the best cowboys are. It's time for the $10,000 shootout round. Oh, we've seen them all play the game in a different way. They are going to set the cattle in position. Oh, boy. So, H.O. Cattle is going to be the first team that we're going to watch. This is for all the chips. Lightning Aguilera, Corey Hendrick, Kent Haley, and Jake Orman is the team that is competing here. Oh, boy. They've been back there contemplating on how they're going to play the game. Hey, because you know they got buddies over there. When this is all said and done, they're going to talk about it. All right, look at them. Clap your hands to the beat of the music. They got it going over there in the yes. VIP section. They're feeling good. Okay, here comes the livestock. The flag is dropped, and we're underway right here. The gate's open. Let's ride, boys. Now, folks, these are the teams that have qualified from the heats. This one had the longest time to get in. Oh, well, they have got the one picked out now. Remember, it's got to be the heifer that's in the pen. The steers get tied. You know, that's a great little rule right there to make you think, make it happen. And then you catch as catch can. Oh, man, ouch. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> okay. Let's get it on, boys. Here comes Lightning Aguilera. They got one captured down on the far end, Perrin. Hey, this one's not having any part of it. Oh, Kendall and Scotty rope. There you go, Kent. He said, I knew that I need to be on the roping side this time. 
We're in a full-out fight at the back end by the bucking pins. The Lightning's got Ooh. this one. Boy, I'm telling you what, X-Hector's got two cams on the game. Doing a wonderful job covering it, folks. You're watching there at home. Thank you to friends at X-Factor Open. Lightning's on the ground. Can't come to help him. We got one pin. Oh, now they're getting the tie on. Oh, now. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Come on, guys. This is for all the money. You never know what can happen. Where's the cheering section for these Come teams? Come on. You better help them. There you oh. go, Kent. You go, Lightning. You have got to just about 30 seconds to get this done. You're making me nervous. He says, come on, guys, hurry up. I've taken my horse. I've come and got the rope, and we're still waiting. <laughs> I'm telling you what, that guy's been the relay man in the cleanup. Ten seconds. Ten seconds. Oh, Kent, you're going to have to do some running, buddy. Take off running, Kent. Hurry. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. I thought Kent was going to oh. slide into home base. Oh, man. Guys, give him a round of applause. How about that? They gave you all they had. You give some back. Okay. Rodale Ranch is going to be the next team to go. That is Hunter Wells, Shannon Rodale, Caden Profilly, and Franco Osegara. Now, I did say earlier on, when the Shannon was in the short round, that Courtney wanted to do some shopping, but he slipped a leg, and I said they're going to have to go to the dollar store. Maybe this is the chance that they can go back to the big store now. Redemption. Okay? Redemption. Okay. Shannon, we're counting on you, buddy. We're counting on you. Oh. Oh, I'm starting to feel good now. Look at this. Oh, hey. Yes, this is getting good. Saturday night. How many of y'all are having a good time at the Cody Neesmith Ranch Rodeo in one header? Make a little noise. Come on, come on. Cowboys, make some noise. Oh, the flag's down. There went the knee. Oh, boy. So, Shannon's here first, Hunter Wells, Ken Profley, and Franco. Oh, look at this. Sh Shannon, uh, he hung his back girt on the gate, broke it loose. Safety is a must. Oh, Hi, right, there you go. You got it. That was all planned. Yeah. Kinda. Oh no. Oh, look at there. Come on, Hunter. Here comes Franco back. He's like. Oh. Bear hug. Hey, Joe. Franco may need a hat, too. Look at his. Holy cow. Huh. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah! yes. The power tackle. Look at that. Oh. Give him the people's elbow. Come on. The horse is nowhere to go. The horse is nowhere to go. Shannon's still trying to get the heifer inside the pen. They're still trying to get it tied down, boys. Y'all got to start doing something fast. Look at our man right here all by himself. Caden Profilly is doing the tying all by himself. Shannon's pinning all by himself. Oh, no. It just got out. 
The heifer just got out. We got to do some more gathering now. Oh, we don't want to go to the dollar store. We're wanting to go to the big house. Oh, come on, help us out, buddy. We're starting to have more problems than the man that got on the wrong train. Oh, there are two trains into this now. Oh, I don't know why you moved the hat. It's already run, buddy. Shannon's got it roped again. They've got 30 seconds. 30 seconds to get them pinned. Does it seem like it's getting harder to play the game? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell you what. Caden has done every job that he can do here. He has touched all three of them right here. I'm not the – whoa. He just got a kick out of it. Boys, you've only got 10 seconds to get out of there. All right. Five seconds to get out of there. Oh, no. <laughs> the short round has been rough on them. We just lost another team. Oh, no. Folks, oh. how about a round of applause? And look at Franco's hat. <laughs> oh. Yeah, Franco! Hold on, Franco. Franco, just stick it on the ground and give it a full crease if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, oh, man. Uh, Mama said she'd buy you another resist doll. It's okay. Yeah. Yes. Mom K said, I got you one, baby. Oh, man. How much fun is that for us <laughs> to yeah, watch? For us. I don't know that they're thinking it's as fun as we do. Yeah. <laughs> but we love that they play the game. So we still we still don't have any times, just by the way. No. But, we still got four teams left to go. Bonnet Farms is going to be the next team. Dustin Bonnet, Tyler McGuffey, Robert Fay, yeah. and Nelson White. Hey, we're talking about the spoilers right here. We're talking about the spoilers. Here's the ones right now that can knock them all off as they get ready. Bonnet Farms get set. Tyler McGuffey, Dustin Bonnet, Robert Fay, and Nelson Wyatt. Folks, I got just, I got this feeling. I call it a premonition. Woo! Big words. I'm talking about these boys right here ready to go. Let's do it, gentlemen. We're still giving away that $10,000 added. Oh, yeah. You got to keep hustling. The work's not done. That one's zigging and zagging, juking and jiving. You guys got to stick like a bee right here. Wow. So get How ready. about Nelson White snagging it on? No heifer. Hey, look at this. They got one rope by two feet. Rare back. Now, he's he going to try to sneak down there. Two of them are roped. He needs a longer rope. Okay, sneak down there. Whisper in his ear. Tell him, stay down. There you yeah. go. Yeah. How about this? McGuffey. Tyler McGuffey making it work. This could be good, boys. This could be in a run for the fastest time. We got two pinning and one tying by themselves. How about that? Yeah, that's not how I figured they were going to play the game. Come on. Hey, we got him tied. Do we, we got, got him one pinned? Tied. Wow. Watch your teeth. Watch your teeth. If you lose the teeth, you got to pick them up. <laughs> yeah, you don't leave anything in the arena. Come on, guys. You're doing something now. You're still under. Come on. What do we got going on? Gather your ropes, gather your horses, gather everything. Come on, guys, you can do it. You're almost there. Get out of there, horse. Okay. They're going to stop the clock at 115.51. We're doing an arena inspection. Are we good there? I believe we are. We get the okay. How about that, TC? We got our time to beat now, 
That's the team. I'm telling you, there was something about that team. Something about that team, but there's something about this next team. S&S Cattle is Colby Lovell, Dakota Kirkenslager, Ty Arnold, and Casey Rice. You got to pick on your pick. I'm going to go for this one to be my pick. Right here, Colby Lovell, Dakota Kirkenslager, Ty Arnold, Casey Rice. These are ropers. These are cowboys. Now. S and S cattle ranch rodeo. Uh, let's go, they said. Show up, show off. Coda's got this gate closed. Kobe Lovell, he's opening the gate down on the far end. He's looking to do a little pin and a little sort and watch the little sorrel horse get down. Watch Dakota here. He's lining this one out. He said, I'll do the work on this one. Look at this. He's going to rope a leg. Yeah, he's going to rope a leg now. He's going to try to get him down on the side so he can go to work. Oh. There can only be one winner. What do we got going on here? We're still at 50 seconds now. Dakota is trying to sneak up on him. Yeah. Look at this. Kobe Lovell. He's trying to get that rope off the saddle horn for Ty. This is Dakota doing the tying over here. He's got part of the work done, but now he's got to get it off the saddle horn. He's got to move that other leg into the tie. Here comes Casey, guys. We're doing something now. Oh, we're doing something big. Are we going for the gates? You be sure all the trash is picked up. Oh, wow. What do we got going on? Oh, they're trying to get the gate closed. Oh, looky here, looky here. So close. How close? 103.52, and they now go to the lead. Oh, but there's still two teams. Oh. <laughs> there's still two to go, and they know exactly what they need to be. And might I say... That these two teams, one of them was 103.53. If you look up at the clock, this team was 103.52 that we just watched. This team was a 103.53 in the previous round, and the other team, 93.39. So they are both capable of beating the fast time. How much does that play in to have that kind of confidence to come into the short round, knowing you've done it before? So is it an advantage that you now know what you have got to beat, or is it nerves that are going to play in the factor? Oh, we're about to find out. We got some guys from GT Ranch getting set to go. It's Hunter Cook, Wyatt Bray, Guy Wade, and Justin James. It's time to do it. The sun's gone down, guys. We've got to go get them now. Flags drop. Let's go do it. This is for the title. This is the second fastest team of the night. Everything's got to go right for you to make it happen. How about that? Is that one of them? No. Oh, the white heifer, I believe, is the one. I'm not sure. Don't take my word on it. Oh, they're trying to make the gate cut. Look how they got off. That's awesome. We send the Cowboys out to go get them. Jesson James got this Whoa. one. That's Jesson James. Looky here. Wyatt Watch Bray. White. Come on, Wyatt. Roll him over and make a tie. Look it over here. We've this. got something special happening here. Oh, we got lots of stuff going special. Oh. They're, they're just at a 60 seconds right now. Let's go, guys. You're there. You're almost there. 
Oh, my goodness, guys. It is Texas, Oklahoma. Jesson James, he says, I want this title so bad. The other guys know he's got it. They're saying Jesson's got the work. Finish it strong, guys, so you better hurry. Yeah. You got to, somebody's got to get some horses. They got to get some ropes. They got to get everything out of here. Okay. Gather the horse up. You better start Come riding. Come on, cowboy. You better ride. Ride, ride, ride. Man, I was wanting to go grab the hot shot. Oh, my goodness. Oh, look at this. Look at this. 101.28, and they have now went to the lead. GT Ranch. Holy commodities. Oh, and we still got one to go. The team that was the fastest of the night. Smith Horseshoeing. Folks, they turned a 93.39 from their heat. It comes down to this, TC. Will it be dessert or disaster for the fastest team of the night? Oh, uh, it's the double Ds. Just which D is it going to be? Oh, come on now, Smith Horseshoeing. You've got to be faster than the 101.28. This is for it all. This is for all the goods, and even better than that, the bragging rights to say you won the Cody Nee Smith Memorial Team Rope and Ranch Rodeo. Flag is up, folks. Here we go. Here it is. It's Flag down. Let's go. Down and here we go. It's ranching time. This is for the title. Hey, look at this. They're getting the gate open. Can they make the cut? Can they make the cut here? This is so crucial. It's the biggest part. Look how much energy they're putting on it. All four of them oh, are right there. Oh, look at this. Can they get the gate closed on her? Can they get? Oh, don't let her out. Don't let her out. Oh, they got her in now. They've got one of them rope. They've got two of them rope. They could show up and show out. They need some help here. Come on, Mason Pitts. Mason Pitts is right there on the ground in front of you. Oh, man. We got the yellow steers roping. Hurry, guys. Remember, they got to get everything out of the arena and cleaned up before 101.28. You can't be tired, gentlemen. There's Mason. They're mounted. Come on, boys. Clean oh. it up. Let's go. Mason, get on. Whoa, Let's go. Right ride, boys, ride. You better start riding. You got to get your ropes out of the arena. You got to get the gate closed. Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. They blew it out of the water. Yes. The gate was closed when they... Uh, had already celebrated at 82.90. Wow. Holy commodities. Setting records. Smith horseshoeing. The horseshoers got them. I'm telling you what, if they shoe horses as fast as they catch the cattle, man, they had the two fastest runs of the competition. Look at that. That celebration is worth a million right there, folks. That is what I'm talking about. Folks, as they celebrate at an event that is truly special. Holy cow, Smith Horseshoeing to be the champion here as they celebrate with the Neesmith Smith family over there. That is a special win right there. I can tell you that. There's a man that is upstairs that is smiling down right now with what he just watched right here in competition. Folks, how about a round of applause to Smith Horseshoeing? They're going to be your championship team. Can we Now we're going to be giving uh, Carrie Kelly bits to the top horse. And then our top hand will get the ISO coolers. Can we bring the winning team down to the arena floor 
We want to get an interview with the winning team on the arena floor. Here's the official results. So Landon Smith is going to win the top horse. He is going to get the, the pair of bits. Carrie Kelly bits for Landon Smith. Jesson James is going to win the top hand award. And... The high, uh, the ice hole cooler for our winner of the top hand. As we go downstairs, Chase has got our winners right down below. Well, what an evening of some ranch rodeo action here at the 2020 Cody Neesmith Memorial. Boys, you look a little out of breath. What do you say? For sure. Y'all going to hit the gym on Monday? Absolutely not. Yeah, that's the athlete way right there. Well, you won horse of the night. That yellow, yellow is pretty cool. What's this deal mean to you? You put two great runs together. What would, how'd y'all go about it? Man, we just went one run at a time. All we could do was make sure make sure we got the heifer pins all we was worried about. But, man, that little yellow horse, that sucker for a little horse, Pretty rank. I ain't, he just, I ain't saying because he's mine. Everybody in here is going to say something to me about him in the last two years I've been hauling him. I wouldn't be able to do this without him. Yes, sir. The yellow horse, pretty pretty cool looking. You call him Ace, correct? Ace, the little yellow. Now, Mason, um, it's the time to vent in your future. We saw some bulldogging, some healing. I mean, it's coming together. Are we going to look at the time to vent coming up? I'm going to have to lose a little weight before I do any of that. <laughs> Well, that's what, that's what the gym's on Monday for. Guys, y'all put an awesome two sets together. It looked like setting that heifer off first was the key to it. Once you got that part done, that's how you save the most time. Would you say that's the answer? That's the key. That's, as any with Ranch Rodeo, what really separates the teams apart, it's the sorting. Guys, Smith Horseshoe, and congratulations on a great night of Ranch Rodeo. And what do you say about it? A little money in the bank on a Saturday night in Buffalo, Texas. I ain't, I ain't got no words for this. I know Cody's smiling down right now. Because all this was for him. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. So he means the world to me. And thanks, Tony and Kay. Because none of this would be possible if y'all wouldn't come over here and do it. I thank y'all a lot. Meaningful words right there. Thank you to the Neesmiths for bringing such a great event together. Hill Rodeo Catter, Colby Lovell, all of our great presenting sponsors. It's been a great night. Smith Horseshoe and the Ranch Rodeo Champions here at the 2023 Cody Neesmith. How about it? Wow. You know what? What a special night it is, and we've only just touched on the edge of what we're going to be watching here. We still tomorrow, the Cody Johnson, the seven header going to be taking place. We still got all kinds of uh, events that we're going to be watching, but he bragged on those sponsors. That's a key to success. Absolutely. Without our great sponsors, folks, we could not do something like this. You be sure to stop by and see Kay Neesmith talk and contribute to the Neesmith Foundation. And this is what it's all about tonight, the emotions, the storyline that Cody and the legacy that that young man left in his short time right here on this world. We get to celebrate him here in Buffalo, Texas. Well, as uh, they are taking uh, the awards pictures right down in front, we uh, get it all set. Folks, don't forget there's going to be live music kicking off. It's a great time here tonight, all part of the Cody Neesmith. We're going to get our official pictures of our winners at the backdrop, so be sure and head over that away. We'll get our official pictures there. Folks, thanks for joining us here at the Cody Nee Smith Memorial. On behalf of Chase, the parent, myself, T.C. Long, thank you for joining us here. It's been a beautiful night. we still got more to come.
Out, we need Jess and James down here to the scoreline. Jess and James, the top hand of the ranch rodeo tonight. I see them coming. We gotta, you go ahead and get them, though. 